our next question, please. Uh, Tim. Yeah, uh, Sir Crispin, could you tell us about the big motoring management meeting earlier this year at the Great House Hotel in Sony? I don't know if you all heard that. The, um, there was a big ma uh, management uh, meeting at uh, the Great uh, House Hotel in Sony. Um, could you tell us a little bit about that, Sir Crispin? Yes, it was a truly wonderful few days. I mean, more of a jamboree, really. I mean, <laughs> motoring really pushed the boat out. Dozens of staff flown in from the overseas units. No expense spared. Four-star accommodation. And the food. Oh, it was out of this world. The French pastry chef was a genius. I don't think I've ever eaten so well in my life, and I do have a certain amount of experience in these matters. <laughs> uh, they had a rather cheeky bottle of Nuit Saint Georges, 1987, I think it was. I'm, I'm, so, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt you, Sir Crispin. <laughs> sorry, no, I think the questioner wanted to know, correct me if I'm wrong, what you all discussed. How to save money. <laughs> but couldn't you have done all this via... A video link. I mean, uh, sh surely that's why we have conference, uh, video conference thing to Yes, but it? the trouble is the equipment doesn't work very well. Um, for a start, you can only hear the person at the other end intermittently. I see. And uh, on the rare occasions that you can see them, they either look as if they're wearing dark glasses. Which must be rather off-putting. Which is indeed rather off-putting. Or, uh, or as if they're suffering from a rare tropical skin disease. They're, they're probably just pixelated. I wouldn't go that far. Some of them, some of them may have had the odd drink, but most of them are perfectly sober. Should we have our fourth question, please? Uh, the recent changes in uh, the management uh, team here at BBC Motoring, have they been a success? Undoubtedly. You see, by changing the name from the direction team to the executive direction team and awarding themselves huge pay increases, Motoring's senior managers are now among the best paid in the BBC. Which is surely something to celebrate. Precisely. And then uh, what about the ICs? What a marvellous job they do, running the operation on a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs> no, I, I think you've got it wrong there. Um, you're thinking of the, the OCs. The, the ICs are, are slightly remote from the operation, and they don't always know what's going on at Caversham. Mind you, come to think of it. <laughs> anyway. Sir Crispin, do you actually know what an OC does? Well, um, um, well I, I've been given to understand that um, the OC um, gets his wiki out first thing in the morning. <laughs> And then, um, during the day, he and his colleagues um, tweak it several times, um, whenever they get the urge, really. Um, some, some of their wikis are very long, I believe, and um, sometimes they have um, a, a spotlight um, on the wiki. And why is that? Well, so we can see it better? <laughs> Shall we have another question, please? <laughs> oh, that was Mr. Moore at the back. Could the recent redu redundancy round have been dealt with better? Oh, absolutely. It was far too expensive and long drawn out. A bit like being on death row. <laughs> so, what exactly made it expensive, in your view? Well, all those clocks, for a start. I mean... <laughs> They were an expense that this organisation simply cannot afford. But the clocks didn't actually cost you very much, did they? Well, we paid a lot to have the words BBC Motoring embossed on the front. But what about the back of each clock? I beg your pardon? Uh, the back of each clock, where it says, uh, this is the property of the Crown Plaza Hotel, do not remove. <laughs> Ah, yes, I, I, I'm afraid we failed to spot that. <laughs> Sir Crispin, is there anything else that you would have done differently, um, in the, well, that you would do differently in the next redundancy round? Which, I must insist, is a long way away. I, I must insist on that. Yes, I realise. It's a long, long way away. A very, very long way away. A very yes. long way away, yes. yeah. Well, I would abolish the exit chats. 
These are the meetings that, that staff have with uh, the director before they leave. That's right. I, I'd replace them with exit text messages. <laughs> Much shorter and cheaper, and, and you avoid all that soppy weeping and nose blowing and all that sort of thing. And, most important of all, in these um, environmentally sensitive times, they leave absolutely no carbon footprint. <laughs> well, that's nice to know. Um, can we have our last question, please? We've time for one more question. A lot of people have been expressing concern about a certain large member of staff's outsized expense account. Would you care to um, comment on that, please, Sir Crispin? Yes, Sir Crispin, a certain uh, large uh, member of staff has a very <laughs> large expense account, it appears. Um, what do you have to say about that? Well, uh, I was led to believe that this was a perk of management, um, just as ordinary members of staff have the shuttle bus to Waitrose every evening. <laughs> so, Crispin, um, I just happen to have your, um, uh, your uh, claim form here. You rather unwisely left it in the printer. And um, one of the trips you claimed for was to the United States. Yes, that's right. I attended the annual OSC conference in Reston. Via Las Vegas. Well, I, I took the scenic route. <laughs> and then there's your Seychelles trip. Yes, that was for uh, recruitment purposes. Although you didn't actually recruit anybody on that visit, did you? No, we were completely unable to find any Armenian speakers there at all. <laughs> And then there's the, the small problem of your Japanese hotel bill. Problem? What problem? Well, according to this, you watched pay-to-view television during your fact-finding mission to Kyoto. Oh, oh yes, the, um, the origami channel. <laughs> but you paid $200 for one hour. Well, well it was adult origami. <laughs> are, are you all right, Sir Crispin? Yes, um, yes, yes, I'm fine. It's just my, my mobile. I had it switched to throb. <laughs> Who is it from? It appears to be a text message. A text message? Yes, it, it's... Starts off, yo dude. <laughs> and, and, and who's it from? Well, does it say? Seems to be from a, a Paul Knight. That's a N I T E. <laughs> yes, let's see, how does it go on? Um, yo dude. Hope you is doing well. <laughs> Hope you is chilling hard. <laughs> Just to say, you won't have a job from tomorrow in it. <laughs> what I mean. Hey, thanks, loads, see ya, hang loose, brav. <laughs> well, Sir Crispin, uh, it looks as though they've adopted your suggestion. Um, what do you have to say to that? Are there any clocks left? <laughs>